Welcome to NetSuite. In this video we will cover how to create a new quote for a customer. The easiest way to create a quote is from the record of the customer you are creating the quote for. From the create new button select quote. This will take you to a new quote page and populate the information from the customer record automatically. Keep in mind your NetSuite system may be customized and look different. The customer name and the date will automatically populate. The name of the sales rep should be added here. If that is you then you add yourself if you are not already the name in this field. This field will default to the assigned sales rep for this account. A partner can be added but is not a mandatory field. The form field changes the layout of the form. Your company will have a default one that should be used. If you are not sure of what to use here then get with your manager or systems admin. The forecasting section is used to create reports to forecast future sales. If this section is available to you then you should fill out all information on hand and update the record later as you get more information. The status of the quote should be added here. The drop down allows you to select the proper status based on what stage of the deal you are in. Probability shows the probability of this deal closing shown in percentages. Expected close date should be filled out with the date that this deal is expected to close. The lead source should be set as well, as it will help with future marketing efforts. The subtab section of the record is where you can add items for this quote. Click the drop down and select list. This will show a list of all items. If you know the name of the item it may be faster to use the search button at the top of the list, here. Clicking on the item name will add it to the quote below. Click the quantity field to adjust the amount of items to add to this quote. As a note adding items to a quote does not take items out of the inventory. The item price level can be adjusted here to the proper price level. The price per unit is shown here, with the total amount for this item shown here. To add more items to this quote click on the add button. We will add a few more items here before moving on to the billing sub tab. The billing sub tab shows the default billing terms for this customer. This will default to whatever terms the customer already has set up. To change it select another item from the drop down. The promotion tab is where current promotions can be applied. You can select a promotion from the promotions drop down. This will also populate the other fields. If the customer has a coupon code that can be added in the coupon code box, discounts can also be applied from the drop down box here. The rate box allows the user to add discounts that can either be expressed in dollars or percentages. In this case negative 10%. The shipping tab is where shipping information can be added and calculated. The gross profit sub tab shows what gross profit for the sale is. In this case the discounted price level coupled with the coupon actually makes us show a negative profit. The contacts subtabs list all contacts associated with this customer here. The activities tab allows you to send the completed quote directly from NetSuite by selecting how to send the information. You can either print, email or fax the information by selecting the appropriate checkbox. We will email the quote to the customer.
button the customer will now custom message can be added. Since we selected the email button the customer will now receive an email with the itemized quote. To go back and make other changes to this quote select the edit button here. This concludes our video on adding new quotes. Thanks for watching.